Okay, everybody, now we're going to do a wash. Now remember, like I told you, you have to do this with uh, warm water. You don't want to do this with uh, cold water. You want to do it with warm water. So uh, I just do it with as hot as the water as I can get out of my tap of my sink. Um, that that would be sufficient. That's good enough. I like to use between four and 500 milliliters to uh, do the wash. The first one is always the worst, um, and you're going to see it in an immediate change in as we do this so go ahead and get your warm water and then you don't want to just put it in there violently you just want to let it kind of roll down the side of the bottle into the biodiesel let it because you don't want to you don't want to be aggressive with this because if you do you'll put air bubbles in it and when you get air bubbles in it it can take days for this stuff to separate so you just want to add it slowly, get it in there. Okay, now when I say gentle, I cannot express enough when I say gentle. You want to mix this up. And what I do is I just go from left to right, left to right, just real slow. You don't want to actually mix the water with the biodiesel. You just want to clean it. You just want to rinse it off, basically. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for the first one. Okay, so can you see how milky this is? See how it is? It's like all, looks like milk in there. What will happen, you can even see some of it up here on the top. All that will settle down. I'm going to give this about a minute or two to settle down. And then I'm going to drain it out. And you're going to keep on repeating this process until you don't have any white milky stuff left in it. And it could take four, five, six times. Depends on how dirty your biodiesel was. And this just gets the all of the uh, excess lye that you had in there. Gets all the soap and everything out of there. It just, I mean, it literally cleans the biodiesel. That's what it's doing. So that's how you clean biodiesel um, with water. Again slow you got to do it slow if you mix it and stir it up real fast you might as well just go ahead and throw it away um, I had one here the other day um, I, I kept because uh, I wanted to use it as an example and I can't find it now but it looked like the bottom does here and stayed that way that's the way it stayed it didn't it never separated and um, I even put it in the Sun trying to heat it back up to separate it and it, it didn't so there you see the you know the distinct line from the water to the oil, and this will all settle down. And what I'll do is I'll drain it off, and then do it again. I'll wash this four, five, six times, however many it takes, and then I'll go ahead. And this is my scrubber that I had made. I know it looks kind of funny. This was, and I know we've all seen them. This is those those fish tanks that sat in the corner of a house that were the real big thing in the early 90s um it just it was that tall four inch cylinder and it had those little plastic fish in there and it had a little bubbles that and the fish floated up and down well that's all this was and i just mounted it to some pvc my center port obviously is for my this is where i hook up my aerator for my pump i actually hook it over to my hot plate and got it get it there then this blue port here is my oil drain that's the tall one you see in there you can see a tall there it is. You can see it better there. You can see the tall. The, well, you can't see it with that, but you can see it with my hand there. You can see that tall standpipe right there. Okay, that's the, I bring, I bring my water level up. Remember I was telling you, I like to use 500 milliliters of water. So there it is right there. You'll see the five, how it says 500 milliliters. That's my water line. That water line is level with that standpipe right there. So what I'll do is I'll put 500 milliliters of water in there. The easiest way to do it on my what I do is I leave my oil drain open here and I dump my hot water in there until it comes out my oil drain. And then once that's done, I know I've got my water level to where I want it. I shut it off and then I start adding my oil. Now, I'm not done with this yet. I'm going to run some of this hard plastic pipe or I might even go and get some uh, quarter inch PVC. I'm going to glue it to the inside of this. I'll come up to the top here. And I'm going to glue it to the inside. And the water one will go all the way down to the bottom, about a quarter of an inch off the bottom. And then the oil one will go down to just where the oil level would be. 
that way and I'll put a funnel there that way I can actually put it in there and it'll uh, it'll fill it from there instead of it splashing all the way down into the uh, into the water so um, then anyway this is my scrubber when I after I do my wash with this here and I put it in and I have no white setting it's just all clear then I put it in here and what happens when I add my air to this it runs the air bubbles up through the biodiesel and it just does a, a final scrub and believe it or not I can come off with about a quarter of an inch of that white foam when I'm done with it so I know my biodiesel is as clean as it's possibly gonna get so what I'll do is I'll drain it down to about maybe an eighth inch to a quarter of an inch below this water level so I have an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch of oil below this water line here I'll drain the water the water drain is on this side over here that's my water drain so I'll drain that water down so it comes down just a little bit and then what I do is I just siphon off the biodiesel and I'm left with that you know dirty water on the bottom there and I can just dump it out clean clean the machine so that's not necessary and remember like I told you before you don't even have to clean biodiesel you can you can make your test batch like we did and go ahead and throw it in your tractor or throw it in your truck or your car whatever you want you don't have to clean it um, I just prefer to clean it because it's a better quality fuel and that's why we're making biodiesel because it's better for our vehicles better for our environment so that's why I do what I do so that's your uh, that's your lesson on making biodiesel this is your uh, this was your um, test batch biodiesel anybody's got any questions leave me comments or emails or anything and I'll do my best to uh, help you out and see what we can do all this stuff will help you and as I uh, get the 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 funds to start building my the big plant um, I will show that step by step on how I do it so but until then good luck and uh, hopefully this will help you out thanks everybody